We're over halfway through March Madness now, and the pot is sat at a staggering 22.5 billion GP. If you don't know what March Madness is, you've been living under a rock. You give me in-game GP for an in-game RuneScape challenge, I try my best to complete it, chuck it in a video, and at the end of the month, I'm giving away all of the GP. That's right, I'm giving away 22.5 billion GP, and more at the end of this month. And more, you say? Well, we got more challenges to get to. How about it, so One hundred mil! Yo, Gandalf! That's right, Gandalf the pimp! Coming in with a hundred million GP. And he wants me to do a simple one. 150 Revenant Knights without banking. I can do that. I can kill Revs. All right, Gandalf Pimp for 100 million GP. Wants me to kill 150 Revenant Knights. Let's hop to it, baby. This shit busy as hell. Oh, why do I not have an amulet of avarice on? I'm a moron, dude. Shit. What is this? Has he DC'd? I can kill this guy. Wait, he logged out on me! What the hell? Oh, that's a maledictus. I don't want to go. Not gonna though. We're here for the right for the knights. All right, round two with the Mister Knight Safe Spotter. Good day, mate. Good day, my friend. Pleasure doing business. All right, there is 150 Revenant Knights without banking. Let's go. Let's make it safely to the bank first. All right, let's have a little look at the looting bag. 3.8 mil. All right, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take four mil out the bank and put that in the pot. Very juicy, very tender. Bitch. Our next challenge comes from Femboys W. They've given me 10 million GP and asked me to do Werewolf Skull Ball in less than three minutes and 47 seconds to get a 15 million GP bonus. And let me tell you guys, 15 more million GP to give away at the end of the month? I'm gonna do everything I can to get this for you. The next challenge is to do a Skull Ball Werewolf course in less than three minutes and 47 seconds. And if I do it, I get a 15 mil bonus. I don't actually know how quick a good time here at Werewolf is, uh, but let's just hook in. Shit. This is already bad. Ah, shit. 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 Ah! I've seen this in less than three minutes, 47 seconds. How long's the course? Where the damn hell is Jebrim when I need him? You need a few skull ball lessons? Yeah, I fucking do, bro. Oh, uh, no. Shoot. Goal. What's my time? 346. Yeah. <laughs> what? As if I got one second less than I needed to. What the hell? Our next challenge comes from OG Calm for 20 million GP. And OG Calm wants me to kill Zolra with a bone crossbow. That's right, the Dorgashun crossbow, the boner bolts. Zolra is one of my favorite bosses. Any opportunity to kill it is a win for me. All right, for this next challenge, we've been challenged by OG Calm for 20 mil. And he has asked us to kill Zolra with a bone crossbow. Now I could very easily just kill Zolra with a bone crossbow and max gear, all right? But that's not going to be a challenge. Let's do it with just the bone crossbow and an Arvis, all right? And some Barrow's Gloves, just for a little extra spice, you know? Just a little extra spice. 
Let's get in there. Let's spec. This is going to reduce the defense. Oh, 22? Wow. Well. Okay, yeah, not bad. That was actually oh, a 12 minute kill. Holy. Let's see how much easier this would be if I had like a, a full max set. All right, took me 12 minutes with no gear and it took me four minutes with gear. So if you're ever wondering if it's worth getting gear upgrades, there's your bloody answer. Next up, we've been challenged by Red Thorn for 3 million GP to kill Jad on a quest speedrun world. And I was so confused as to what he meant by this, but it turns out if you go on the quest speedrun worlds and set up a quest speedrun like Dragon Slayer 2, you get a bunch of gear put in the bank and it doesn't stop you from going anywhere on the map. You can just literally do whatever you want on Quest Speedrun Worlds. I'm just going to welcome back from RuneScape. You last logged in 428 days ago. Oh, to the speedrunning worlds. I'm in the middle of Cook's Assistant. Okay, our next challenge is from Red Thorn. 3 million GP. And he said, kill Jad on Quest Speedrun Worlds. Now, it was tough to actually get in these worlds because there's so many bloody people on there, but... We are on the speedrunning worlds. Now, how do I restart? Taste of hope, set up speedrun. All right, here we are. So I have a bunch of gear already. An uncharged glory. Really, man, really? I don't have many restores, that's an issue. The thing is, two restores is just not gonna be enough. Wait, what happens if I do Sins of the Father? Will I get better gear? Oh, I get way better gear for Sins of the Father. What about a Kingdom Divided? Oh, I get ranged for this. Range is probably better than melee. Hmm, Dragon Slayer 2? Nah, check the bank. Oh, true. Oh shit, there's heaps in the bank, bro. Oh, we're bing chilling. Hopefully there's just a million restores. Oh my God, bro. Take the Michael. Thank you very much. I wonder what's in the house. What's the house look like? Damn. Can I get on any spell book? Damn. Let's get a fire cape. I just hit a zero and it spawned the healers. What? Tank a hit for the culture. Tank a second hit for the culture. Tank a third hit for the culture. Tick eat a hit for the culture. Tank another hit for the culture. Sit the fuck down. Easy, bro. All right, we got the fire cave. The question is, do we get the pet? Not lucky. Ah. Now I want to know. I've got Tockle in my inventory. If I hop out of this world and I come back, am I? Am I? Do I still have the Tockle? I do. So I could literally just start an Iron Man, bro. I could do it. I could do a quest speed running Iron Man. If I start Dragon Slayer two, let's set the speed runner, and then how do I? I just talk to start the quest. Start the quest. So I can now, I can now gain XP. Now let me check. Let me just make sure. Uh, let me go 
pick up an item somewhere. Okay, so I can gain XP. Let me pick up this plank. And then if I hop worlds and then I come back and I still have it. You could literally just do every single thing you want on a quest speed running world, except for get the quest cape. You could literally just make an Iron Man on here. Is this not crazy? Who's making the first ever quest speed running world Iron Man? Who's doing it? Because it's not going to be me. I promise you that. Our next challenge comes from Hi, I'm John. He wants me to do for 25 million GP, a three man Trollo Deathless Om. He wants me to play on three accounts inside the old room at the same time. Hi, I'm John. H-I-G-H -H is damn right. This man must be high as all hell if he thinks I can do this deathless. Guy is crazy. All right, we are about to go into Arm on three accounts at the same time. We've got Ray Upton and Jake Upton. Uh, we're going to have Jake Upton doing the mage skip. We're going to have Ray Upton doing the mage camp. And then we're going to have EV Scape doing the melee camp. Did I not bring a scythe? I didn't bring a weapon to hit the melee hand. Okay, EV Scape is not going to be doing the melee camp. I'll do the mage skip on EV Scape. And then I'll do melee camp on Ray Upton. And then I'll do... Okay. <laughs> uh, this is kind of throwing me off. I can't lie. This is kind of throwing me off. Uh, all right. This should be good. This should be sweet. We should be bing chilling. All right. Well, let's stop messing around. Let's get in there. This is way too much. This is way too much. What do you mean? I'm brewed down. Oh my God. There's one dead. Fuck, dude. Oh, so close. So fucking close. Oh, man. I can't believe how close that was, dude. I can't believe how close that was. All right. Does Rake Upton have a purple? That's white. Damn, man. Our next challenge comes from Juicy J. It's Juicy, baby. For 100 mil. And they want me to get a one-hit KO with Darox, the classic, the skill specs. And then they want me to greet the person that I killed in Lumbridge after I killed them. So devastatingly, I messed up my OBS settings for this one. And I accidentally had my desktop audio coming through on the same channel as my microphone. So there's copyright music, but one bang here with the 82 ad there. We had to rush to find this guy. I was like, where's he going to be? I guess Lumbridge. He could have been in Edgeville, could have been at one of the other respawn locations, but we found him in Lombridge. He's at the bank. I said, sup beast. And then, well, he just disappeared. But I wasn't done there. I wanted to get back out. I wanted to get another kill. And well, <laughs> things didn't really go that well. I got cooked up by an Iron Man. But he was an Iron Man, so it was fine. I just went back out, picked up all my loot. Bob's your uncle, and uh, he was a viewer. We had a little chat. It was great. And we move on to the next challenge. Our next challenge comes from Princess Bubble for 50 million GP. And they want me to spend one hour at the Grand Exchange dancing for GP. I am about to embarrass myself in public. I hate doing this. But... It's all for the course. Uh, yeah, I did it again, guys, with the with the audio and the. I'm so bad, man. Is okay. To be fair, it's the first time in March Madness I've messed this up. So you know, 
I'm live streaming and making the videos at the same time. But I did promise you guys when I started live streaming that wouldn't affect the YouTube videos. So I'm really upset at myself for this. You know, I just didn't want to have the, uh, the desktop audio in the same. I have two OBSs open. I don't know what happened here, but there is a couple more clips that will probably be coming up in the future episodes that I have, uh, I'm going to have to do voiceovers for as well. It kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I spent an hour at the GE dancing for GP. Uh, I had a couple of people come up and give me donations while I was doing this. So I just put them in the bank. I didn't want to be like crowded with the donations. I wanted the actual dancing for GP to be separate. Um, but we got a mill a couple of times off a couple of people, a couple of 250K bags here and there. And uh, we ended up getting 4 million GP uh, at the end of it, which was quite a bit. And that's 4 million GP that's going straight into the pot. Did being EVscape affect the amount of GP I got? Probably, but uh, I'll, I'll take it anyway. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for day number 16 of March Madness. The pot still at 22.5. I pre-edited this video. I did two in one night, so it's the same as yesterday. But guys, if you do want to come along and make a donation to March Madness, give me a challenge. We are getting late in the month, so it's unlikely I will be able to finish your challenge, but there is always the possibility if it's a good one. I'll be live four hours after this video goes up at 10 a.m. AEDT on kick.com forward slash EVscape. Get on down there. Hopefully see you guys in the chat. Don't forget to also be subscribed to the channel and join the Discord. Link is in the description for that one. That way you will be notified and eligible for when the giveaways come around at the end of the month. Hopefully see you guys in the Discord. We've got almost 6,000 members in there now. Insane. But thank you guys very much for watching, supporting, all the likes, all the comments, all the love. You guys have been absolutely nuts this March Madness. We're more than halfway through. We're coming into the tail end now. And it's going to be an absolute ripper. I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy.